<clears throat> Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. This morning we're in the middle of an ice blizzard. Uh, we got, I don't know, over over 30 inches. We had in a bucket this morning of just rain and freezing rain now. And uh, so we, we came over here this morning and gave these cows a, a strip of uh, winter stockpile, even though it's encrusted in ice. And... Uh, they just everything they stomped on it as they walked of course the stockpile did this they just stomped it right into the ground now, this is what the stockpile we gave them it was actually out there on that open hillside over there <clears throat> but i'd say got 20 bite fulls maybe 100. <laughs> we really trampled a ton of stockpile on the ground this morning didn't get any consumption uh, as they tried to graze it as the feet went across the stockpile because it was encased in ice they just broke it off and stomped it right onto the flush with the ground in the mud and so people say well what do you got those hay bales up there for guess what i'm using a little bit of my insurance this morning you don't want your cows to go hungry i mean yeah we're in an ice storm it's dangerous to even be out here we took a four-wheeler uh we've got in place where we can get over here now we're about five miles from the house but we can get over here on the four-wheeler without getting on the blacktop the blacktop here in an hour or so it's gonna be like a skating rink out there you're not even gonna be able to get on it we still got to feed our animals so we've got a four-wheeler we can get over here on and of course there's the great judy bell and roller up there and uh you know what we just fed 293 head here in a four-wheeler in, in an ice storm and folks, I just told you it rained three inches last night. If you get down in that bottom right there, I'm telling you what, it is soup. Well, you can see a cattle trail started right there. But we're feeding them up on the side of these hills. This is why I wanted to get over here. I knew we were going to get a rainstorm. They, they predicted it all week. And so we had to get them in some hills so that when the, we're, we're supposed to get, I think they said five to six inches of snow here this afternoon. So we're going to get snow on top of this slush, which isn't going to hurt too bad. I mean, the snow, I don't mind unrolling a little hay on top of snow. It makes a nice clean surface, and uh, it's going to make it more puggy, though, when that snow melts. But uh, this is Saturday, uh, January 10th. So we made it through the week of January without any inclement weather, so we're happy. Now, Mother Nature says, not so quick. We're going to give you some ice. We're going to give you a batch of snow on top of it. Well, that dang heifer there, she's fat. Um, but the cows are eating a little bit of hay. I, I crisscrossed it. Uh, so the, the hay went like this. It went back and forth across the top of this hill. And Alex and uh, Casey are up there in the thicker spots, just kind of spreading it out where the cows can get more access to it. And uh, we do that for the first, I don't know, 30, 40 feet of a bale. If it comes off a little bit thick, we'll spread that stuff out. But all the cows are getting something to eat. Compliments of that little hay unroller on that ATV. And folks, even the ATV, when I drove out here this morning, well, you can't see it from here. I left tracks. Not ruts, but tracks. Here, here. There it is. Folks, if you had a 100 horse tractor out here full of ride, my God, I could bury myself in the, in the rut you would have. Okay. If you look way across that horizon over there. Yeah, you can't see it. There you can see it's the little four-wheel tracks over there. All it is, that's busting through the, the ice. It didn't make any ruts. Okay. There's a little dairy heifer. A little jersey. Everything's getting something to eat this morning. Okay. These cows are so gentle. And I wanted to clarify something. On that video I posted a couple days ago about uh, loading that bull in that trailer, I had a reader come back with me. I'm so thankful that he did. And I should have clarified that better. Folks, you don't get in the trailer with a bull or a cow unless it's cattle like these. And then even some people may not want to even do that. But these cattle are super, super gentle. We don't have an animal in here that'll come after you. But I've I've grazed cattle for other people that would absolutely kill you if you got in that trailer. 
So don't, if you're just getting in the cattle business, you go buy some cows, don't jump in the trailer with them and try and sort them. It's a really good way to get hurt or severely injured. And I should have clarified that better. Um, you know, our bull, heck, we don't have an animal in there to even look at you. You know, they, they just don't care about humans. They're not scared of us at all because we're not out here poking them with a needle, roping them or chasing them on horses or sicking dogs on them. We're out here moving them and they're getting something to eat. So these animals are extremely docile. But again, to clarify, don't get in a stock trailer and try and sort animals. Just wanted to get that off my chest this morning. And thank you for the reader that sent that. Anyway, uh, we got more ice coming. It's still raining out here. My glasses are getting iced over. The cows are getting more ice on them. But you know what? By Sunday afternoon, this is Saturday. Uh, Sunday afternoon, they're saying it may be up in the 40s. And if it does, ice is gone. And we'll be back to grazing again. We've got a whole bunch of paddocks put in up here in front of us. It'll be nice to get back to grazing. But we fed some insurance this morning, and we're glad we have it. Our cows are glad we have it. They get something to eat. And uh, we don't lose animal performance during this brief ice storm. And snow is coming at us later today. So everyone, this is Greg Judy signing off. And uh, you all have a great day. And hope you don't have any of this ice that we got.